we're going to talk about the truth on the average rate of return that no one talks about. Hey guys, Ariane here. In this channel, we talk about money tips and how to retire early through real estate investing. In this video, I'll show you how two investments with the same average rate of return can get you very different results. Let me pull up, let me pull up an example right here. So as you can see, person A on the left has $2.2 million at the end of 20 years, and person B on the right has $4 million at the end of 20 years. That's crazy. Person A has $1.8 million less, almost $2 million less than person B after they invested in two different assets, both with the same average rate of return of 7.3%. And it's gone. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. What? You're probably thinking, how in the world is that possible? That can't be true. Well, I know. That's what I thought too. I was shocked too when I first learned about this. I'll go into the details in this video so you can avoid being person A and missing out on almost $2 million. Because at the end of the day, that's something you can use, right? Like what if you could have access to an extra $2 million in 10, 20 years. So you want to tune into this video so you can maximize your money and get the most from your investments and live the life you actually want. And just as a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor or an attorney. I'm just sharing what I found. If you're investing or starting to invest, you've seen these calculators where you plug in your average rate of return and it calculates what you end up with at retirement. And usually that's what people base their retirement off of. And people assume that all the investments that get you the same average rate of return will mean that you actually end up with the same amount of money. Well, like you saw earlier, that is not true. The problem is not all investment options get you the same results. Two investment options could actually have the exact same average rate of return, but what you actually get as a result can be different. And that's what really matters, right? The main things that make a difference are one, how much of your investments rely on the value of something, of something going up versus relying on cash flow. And number two, how much the value tends to go up and down. This is known as volatility. So in this video, we'll talk about those two types of investments. One is heavy appreciation investments, and the second one is stable cash flow investments. So heavy appreciation investments are investments where the value of what you buy goes up and down a lot, and the investment return largely comes from the value of that investment going up. One example of this is most stocks in the stock market that give you low or no dividends. Now, the other kind of investment is a stable cash flow investment, where the value of what you buy stays relatively stable and you're mainly investing for the cash flow that that investment gives you regularly. So one example of this is real estate investments like buying rentals for rental income or being a lender and collecting interest income. So here's an example of what that different the difference looks like between a heavy appreciation investment versus a stable cash flow investment. So here's an example. We have Joe and Alex. They both started with $100,000. So on the left, Joe invests in a heavy appreciation example in the stock market. And Joe's return comes from the value of the stock going up and then selling it for a profit. On the right, we have Alex, who invests in a stable cash flow example in real estate. Alex's return comes from rental or interest income, regardless of whether the value of the actual asset goes up or down. If it goes up, that's icing on the cake. Now, both of them have a 7% average annual rate of return. But by the end of year three, Alex, who invested in the stable cash flow investment, has $12,000 more than Joe, who invested mostly for the value of the stocks going up. 
So I'll walk you through how that happened. You're thinking that that can't be true. It's 7%, they, they should have the same amount of money. So I'll show you right here how that happened. So we're gonna pull up our handy dandy calculator. And so Joe starts with $100,000. And in year one, his return is negative 30%. So he ends up with $70,000. Year two, his return is positive 30%. So he's like, yay, I, I gained all my money back. But actually, look, it's only $91,000. In year three, he gets another good year. And he gets a 21% return, which gets him $110,000, which is amazing, right? However, that is very different from Alex. So Joe gets $110,000. So let's see what happens to Alex's investment. So let's clear this. So Alex starts with the same $100,000. He invests at 7%. So after year one, he has 107,000. After year two, he gets another 7%. He has 114,000. In year three, another 7%. So he has $122,500. That is more than Alex. Oh, wait, Alex has more than Joe. So as you saw, they both have 7% average rate of returns. But Joe, who invested in the heavy appreciation stock market, has $12,000 less than Alex, who picked the stable, less sexy cash flow investment. Now, some of you are saying, well, that's just a hypothetical example. That's true. Now let's use the real numbers from 2000 to 2019 for the NASDAQ, one of the top three stock indices in the US. I got these numbers from onestock1.com. So now we have a sheet of the NASDAQ pulled up and you can see that we have two examples, right? So we have the appreciation return. Now put a little check mark on that. We got the appreciation return and then we have balance A, which is what actually happened to the money, right? So both of these examples start with a million dollars. So balance A it was, is what happened to the million dollars over that 20 year time span. And then balance B is a stable return. So instead of the NASDAQ, which went up and down, right? It was volatile that got a 7.32% average rate of return we have a stable return example at 7.3%. And as you can see, at the end of 20 years in 2019, balance A has $2.2 million. And balance B has $4 million. That's a difference of $1.8 million dollars. Man, that's crazy, right? Person A has almost half the amount of money that person B has. And it's purely from picking a more volatile investment option than a more stable investment option because it got them the same rate of return. I'm not sure about you, but when the first when I first learned about this, my mind was absolutely blown. Like how is that possible? But as you can see the numbers don't lie. This is what actually happened and this is why it's so important to know what the actual rate of return is, what actually happens to your money instead of just projecting the average annual rate of return. That's crazy, right? This pretty much makes all of the retirement calculators we use online inaccurate unless you invest in stable cash flow investments instead of heavy appreciation investments. So keep that in mind when you're planning for retirement or early retirement like we do in this channel. And I just want to make this clear. 
I'm not trying to bash the stock market. There are other reasons why someone would invest in the stock market. Real estate has its drawbacks too, like having a larger barrier to entry. I just want to point this out because someone might not know the truth behind the average rate of return and they might be thinking that that's what they're actually going to get in 20 years instead of something different. Now, you might be thinking, well, now that I know this, that's great, but I have no idea how to get a stable return. How do I invest in real estate? Well, first of all, think about all the people you know. You probably know or know of someone who is already investing in real estate. Maybe it's a friend, family member, someone from church or college. Ask them how you can invest with them. Most real estate investors I know are very open and enjoy investing with other people. Most of them want to share the wealth. And I have a whole video playlist on how to invest in real estate and I upload new videos weekly. So subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell so you can see the new videos as soon as they come out. And if this video blew your mind like it did mine, please share it with someone you know who is either investing or is beginning their journey in investing. You sharing this could be the difference in someone having an extra $100,000, $200,000, a million dollars in 20 years. You could change someone's future and their family's future by sharing this with them. And if all you or them ever knew to invest in was the heavy appreciation and volatile stock market options, check out my channel's real estate investing playlist to learn more about investing in real estate. I'll add links to the video description on relevant videos as well. If you have a specific question, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer. And if you want to see more content like this on money tips and how to retire early with real estate investing, click that subscribe button and notification bell. If I know that I was able to help one person that will totally make my day and it gives me more motivation to make videos like this. Here's our quote for the day. If you want something you never had, you must be willing to do something you have never done. Thomas Jefferson. Thank you so much and hope you have an amazing day. I will see you next time.